One thing that makes it easy to make vlogs is that every day is different. I'm not seeing the same docks. I'm not driving the same roads. Follow along and we'll do today's vlog coming up. We all have something called a circadian rhythm. We have a time that we want to wake up and a time we want to go to sleep. I am a morning person. I love it from about 3 a.m. to about 5 p.m. But come 9 p.m., I turn into a pumpkin. I'm ready to be in bed asleep. Last night, I stopped about two and a half hours short of my destination, which was in Cleveland, Ohio. I still had time on my clock. I could have driven a little harder, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to find a parking place without too much difficulty. And the Oasis in Ohio usually have parking at the time I shut down. No surprise, today's load was hauling beer. And I, my delivery was in Cleveland, Ohio. The address I'd been given for delivery was 38th and King. Fortunately, when I pulled the Macro 35, it gave me a little more information, gave me 3800 King Avenue as the address. It also told me if I got off at exit 174A, it would be the right exit. Information put on the Macro 35 is put there by other drivers who have already been to these locations. It's important to take a look at this because my GPS would have had me getting off at a much earlier exit and having to work through surface streets to get there. Getting off at exit 174 saved me a lot of grief. This entire building on the right is the place that I'm looking for. You gotta find a convenient place to park to be able to go check in. Fortunately, when I got to the end of the building, I saw a great place to pull over and park. The yellow is where I happen to pull over and park, and the first red by the blue dot is where I was docked, which works out well. They have another dock area at the other end, which I did not wind up having to go to. The check-in area is where the blue area is. It's good to get in a little walking. Other than having to back blindly across the street, it was a very easy dock. Straight in, straight out. While being unloaded, I went ahead and ate my breakfast bowl. Has anybody tried these yet? I got it from Walmart. They're great value. Basically, it's a cheaper knockoff of the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls, and they are fantastic. And it was only $2. I cook my frozen meals a little different than most people. I use a Hot Logic Mini. I'm going to make a video and talk about it, but here's a sneak peek of what it is. And I'm also going to throw my dinner in and my dinner will be done when I get to Smucker's and I will be able to eat it before I hit the road. Not every shipper, not every receiver are a perfect situation for docking. As I'm driving along, getting ready to leave this particular destination in downtown Cleveland area, you will see me encounter a situation where I have to work my way around. It's not really this truck driver's fault where he has to sit his truck because of the way the dock situation is. The docks were built for straight job trucks and he's out there with 75 feet of truck trying to figure out how to make it work. To the left, the road is not truck accessible. So I have to carefully go around this truck to be able to continue on my way. And yes, I really did drive this slowly. Fortunately, there were no cars parked in the little parking lot right across from there, which gave me the opportunity to use that additional space. In my head, I could hear my instructor, Jack, back in Cartersville saying, it's not truck driving, Tom, it's trailer driving. Watch that wagon. And that's what I do. I carefully watch the wagon and drive very slowly around this.
Now, I had already checked this road to make sure it was a trek accessible road. However, this bridge will still give a person pause. There's no markings whatsoever to show that you can clear this bridge. That's a little bit scary. See that cityscape ahead? That's Cleveland. My Kenworth T680's front window is the best office view I have ever had. I live in a small town and I love small towns. This is the town of Orville, Ohio. I'm sure you've heard of this town before. It's where Smuckers comes from. And that's what I'm picking up. Orange marmalade and apple cinnamon jelly. I'm taking it to Fairburn, Georgia, but it doesn't deliver until Friday. Smuckers is very efficient. It's usually a quick in and out drop and hook. After getting everything punched into the Qualcomm, it is important to take the load to a CAT scale to be sure that I am correctly axled for the weight. CAT scales are located at just about every truck stop and they are paid for by the company so there is absolutely no reason not to have your truck weighed. Remember that frozen meal I put in my Hot Logic Mini, that $1.88 great value meatloaf and mashed potatoes? Well, it was time to eat. The Hot Logic will take any frozen meal, and in two hours, it's ready to eat. It stays good for another six hours. I've enjoyed it. I've used it for several years. Happy to share it with you guys and let you guys know about it. My fuel stop was at the Pilot Travel Center number 16. With that low of a number, it's got to be old. This particular pilot is not really a truck stop. Yes, they sell diesel. Yes, they have truck showers. You talk about a tight in and tight out and only a few parking places, this one's it. It's time to upload this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you.